Hey guys, what is going on? It is always good here. Today I have a brand new video for you. And, um, sorry I've been uh, off these two days. I didn't make any videos because uh, I was kind of busy. And I was kind of making this video and making it for you guys. And making it perfect and making it all oh my god. Um, so this video is, um, is going to be explaining how to get from bottom. Uh, like you spawn in Lumbridge. Um, like you do when you make a new account. When you go the tutorial island or the dragon I don't know um how do you get from level 3 with none skills to uh, a thermal pure a rune or a berserker pure or um no not normal pure but um just rune or berserker pure so what is a rune or berserker pure a uh, rune pure is basically um your character and um the highest require uh, the highest armor he can wear is rune so he has 40 defense and yeah, none, none higher. And um, a berserk pure is, pure is basically five levels higher, and he has the ability to wear berserker helms. Um, so I'm gonna warn you: this um, this method of of I don't know this this guide on how to do this. It, this is not easy, and it's gonna be very time consuming. So if you wanna make your uh, rune pure or berserk pure, take your time for it and don't let any don't let yourself down and be careful with your defense levels. Um, and another thing I want to say is that you never train your defense up to um, 40 yourself because there are lots of quests you're gonna need for thermal that will get you defense XP. So uh, the first thing you want to do is um, you want to prepare yourself for um, 60 plus quests. So if you're not really a quester or if you're not a quester at all I don't really think this is something for you that you should do because I think you're really gonna hate this because there are some um, difficult quests or um, longer quests in this guide um, so the uh, good things about the rune pure or a berserker pure is that um, you have a low um, combat level like you do, you only have 40 defense so you're not gonna get any um, more combat level for your defense and uh, you have uh, quite high skills uh, like attacks and strength um, the uh, good things you want to have for your um, rune pure or the uh, or a berserker pure is a rune defender, which gives good strength and attack bonuses, and also a fighter torso. I can't really think of anything better than a fighting torso for the bottom, for the uh, top. Uh, for legs, you gonna you're gonna go for rune, and for your berserker, the helm is gonna be a berserker helm. Um, another good thing is uh, the Vengeance spell. It requires 94 magic and the Lunar Diplomation quest. Uh, and yeah, it can really deal uh, a lot of damage if used correctly. The bad things is that players will hit high on you, but uh, that makes up with you hitting high on them. On them. Um, and there's another bad thing. Um, about this um, kind of thing is that lots more people are doing this and um, the thing you wanted to have your uh, rune or berserk pure is that you make difference between you and other players uh, for having low combat but high, uh, high stats so if everyone would make it it would not really um, have any uh, profit on itself so um, if you like starting the game um, it's handy to get um, buy some armor in the GE and train your attack till 20 uh, or 30. Why you should ask? Uh, well, because there are going to be a lot of boss fights in the quest you're going to do. Um, you can also maybe train range or magic till 30 to safe spot them. Um, you need lots of quest points to do higher quests, so therefore I would recommend doing all the um, low level quests like all the uh, fruit to play quest and then the higher um, quest. Uh, quest for uh, attack XP, you will see them on the screen now. If um, so, it's really handy to do the uh, to do these because if you um, done all these quests and you started at uh, twenty or thirty, uh, no twenty, you're gonna be at um, eighty uh, eight forty eight. Um, 
or uh, 49 check and that is perfect because then you can choose um, nor do you want to be uh, 50 god damn it nor do you want to be uh, a 50 um, a 50 attack to be a G mauler or um, or just be an uh, 60 plus so um, you can like have a Sarah sword or a whip or uh, even higher and then you can um, have a god sword so the next thing you want to do is um, well uh, the next things you want to do is get some quests for prayer prayer uh, quests are actually the last important uh, thing um, quests of this guide because you're gonna get 95 either way but if you want to start out with this uh, it can help you with some boss fights so uh, you'll sh uh, you'll see them now on the screen, and I'm gonna not gonna um, provide much time to this because it's not really um, important. So here comes the important part: some quests for defense. You'll see them now on the screen, and um, this quest will get you to for the defense um, exactly. So. Um, and that is perfect because then you can choose or being a rune pure or a berserker pure you can choose uh, either way um, be careful with your defense xp check your weapons check uh, always check your weapon styles because else you're gonna be uh, yeah else you're gonna mess up and that'll not be fun because let's be honest 40 41 looks uh, looks pretty bad in 40 because then uh, 40 is like the room the room pure and um, and 41 is not the room pure so um, kind of compare it with uh, one defense pure and if you get would get that to two defense that will be horrible because that will just I don't know that will just look look awful um, so if you want uh, 45 defense, there are some quests on the screen now. I would recommend also doing the free to play, play quest because then you, um, therefore you gonna have um, some quest points, and that will uh, rack you up. Yeah, some quest points, and you have to use them later to do the um, I don't know, Dragon Slayer, I guess. Or um, even if you have uh, lots of quest points, you can eventually do the um, recipe of disaster, which requires 175 quest points. So that is a lot. Um, so now here's the um, the sucky part on how to unlock thermal or ancient curses. You got four major quests, which uh, which gonna be separated in lots and lots of um, uh, sub quests. Uh, like I said, 60 plus, so that's going to be a lot. Um, the first, um, the main quest is a template in distant, uh, which you're gonna, um, which when you um, have that done, you can ac activate the Asian curses, uh, the desert treasure, which is um, a little bit easier, um, the devious mines, which is a really easy quest, but the sub quests are uh, very annoying because there are pretty much there are lots of sub quests in devious minds um, and then we have the one big one the curse of araf and this um, quest has like 20 sub quests by itself so it's fucking annoying as shit i can now finally do it so i'm going to do it yeah so um desert desert treasure the sub quests are now on the screen and um, I would really recommend doing these quests as early as possible and the, the desert treasure quest isn't really hard at all you um, but there's th that one guy that has two forms bring lots of prayer pots yeah recommended bl bring lots of prayer pots because else e your prayer is gonna run out he's like prayer drainer or something I don't know the devious minds it's a it's a hell of a lot. Um, it's a hell of a lot. Uh, easy quest. It's really easy. Uh, you should have it done in ten minutes or less. But the sub quests are um, a lot, so they're now on the screen. I would recommend just doing them. Like um, 
they are the subquests aren't really hard, so uh, I would recommend doing them as early as possible, like the maze or I don't know Zemi maze or something. You can do that at level three, so um, that's really uh, easy. The Curse of Araf, um is less easy because you're gonna have a lot of um, it's a major quest and um, it has lots of subquests, and some of those subquests are pretty hard uh, as itself. Like missing my mummy is pretty annoying because you have to um, um, how do you say that repair the mummy or re repair the tomb a hundred percent. So that is pretty annoying. Um, you also uh, have to be done troll romance, and therefore you have to be uh, doing uh, troll stronghold. And um, so go on with that. Um, the skill skill requirements are um, not easy as well. It's pretty annoying to get um, the rune crafting or something. Well, now the rune span update makes it a little bit easier, but um, it's still pretty annoying. Uh, so he here are the requirements. I think teething is the worst because I fucking hate teething. And um, yeah, go so on. Um, and I want to top it off with a little training method to arm zombies. You have to be doing. Uh, you gotta be. You gotta be done. You have to be. You have to done. Yeah, you have to done the um, defender of rock. And if you've done that, you can go to the um, upper floor in the castle, and um, like the tower where you uh, start the quest. And there's like this spy who will take you to the armored zombies, and um, it has um, an altar where you can pray. So always have your curses on soul split and. Well, maybe Termal, I don't know. Um, yeah, Termal, um, Soul Split, and Berserker, so you don't have to put a lot. So the Soul Split will do all the um, work for you. And the. Um, and the. Um, the. Yeah, the Termal, if you have it with 95 prayer, it will deal uh, constantly good damage. And it's just a really good uh, prayer. And the Berserker is um, a prayer that will. Uh, make your poots last longer, so that is really helpful. And um, so, why uh, should you get thermal or um, or soul split? Um, it's really handy because the thermal is just the best curse, uh, the best prayer in the game because it likes boosted your stats, your defense, um, strength, or attack all by 30 or something, I believe. So making you hit incredibly high and making you hit you can hit incredibly high uh, combos with your DDS or something a 500 XP DDS drop oh my god um, so uh, yeah that's really cool to see uh, your soul split is really handy in dungeoneering or um, other uh, things or just training because it heals you one out of five um, points you hit so if you hit a 500 it will heal you 100 and if you um, like burst rock lobsters or something you will hit consta consistently uh, 800 so you don't even have to um, you don't even have to what is it? The melee pray. The the fact players uh, prayers are also better than the normal prayers. But if you gonna do jet, um, that will drain more prayer points. So if you're gonna do jet, where uh, you don't really need the more um, the better protection because jet won't hit, uh, won't hit through any prayers if you protect them well. Uh, that's what she said. And um, yeah, so bring if you're doing jet, bring the normal prayers. And um, that's kind of it, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Please leave your love for this video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and like for the latest and greatest videos. I, I, you know, I love it when you like it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace. <laughs>